Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shirley Mimi where you get a gist. I see they do a thing. I see the hearts. Of course you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel if you snooze you do what? you lose are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a fat long thing kindly pause right there subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell if not tell me how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot like how do you want to get the gist i see the hurts so guys, yesterday was so, so interesting. And also, aside from being Liam's um, song trending on the social space, it was actually trending Yolanda Mukondi. Why was Yolanda really trending? So yesterday, Yolanda went live. Of course, one thing this housemates, this season's housemates know how to do most is to go live. I think <laughs> the fans are so lucky because fans are those people that really want to keep up with their faves. There is no day Yolanda do not go live. There is no day Z do not go live. They are always live. Except maybe it's just for the meantime, maybe later on they are going to just... But at least they are always live. Like, if you are their fans, oh my God, you should be. You should just turn on their notification bell of, on their IG. They are always live there. Anyways, um, I uh, said Liam and Yolanda went live, you know, and then she was seen with somebody so surprising. Who was that person? It was Willie. So, you know, one thing with this thing is that um, fans are actually not pleased with some of the housemates on how they nominated their faves. And we all know that Willie is one housemate who do not really like Yolanda at all. He's always nominating Yolanda every freaking time. With a reason, she made the space in Habitable to live in. You see Yolanda, um, you see um, Willie and Jared, they never change their nomination when it comes to Yolanda. Like it was a back-to-back -back nomination, you know? So, um, even Papa Ghost and the Rasu Modi said, whom... It's obvious that they had rivals, there are rivals in that house, right? They have this rivalry thing going on in the house. Yes, there were times they did not nominate um, Yolanda. You get? <laughs> so, um, Yolanda fancying um, Yolanda with Willie, they were so unhappy. They are like, you should not hang out with this boy. This boy do not like you. Make sure you stay far from Willie. You know, all of this kind of talk. They're just the para. They were papazing in Makeke's voice. <laughs> So they were just lamenting, avoid really this one, that one, that dude never liked you, the way he nominates you, the way he said it, you know. And then there was something Yolanda had said to his fans, to her fans. She said, guys, Big Brother and Zanzi Siyamoshe was a game. Now we are outside of the house. We are in the real world right now. One thing I don't want to do is beef with anybody for any reason. One thing I know is this Big Brother fame is for a while. The lights, the um, spotlight is shining on us right now because we just left, we are just fresh from the oven, you know, we just left the house. Before you know it, in the next one month, two, three months, the spotlight will not be this hot on us, you know. And maybe there might come in time where by I need help. And I might need release help. I don't want a situation whereby I would need the help of any of these housemates and I would actually not ask for their help because of we are beefing. The world is so small for us to beef all of this thing in. That she is cordial, that she's cool with all of the housemates. You understand? So she wants to make it so easy for her that when tomorrow comes up, when the spotlight is not that hot on her, when she would need help, even now that the spotlight is on them, there are, there's a point in time they would need help. You need one or two persons and you'd be like, oh no, me and this person don't talk. This person would have come um, to my head and all of that. She said she doesn't want to do that. 
So hence, she's trying to maintain a good relationship with all of the housemates, including Winnie, so that the fans should take a chill pill and forgive whatever happened in the house is a game. You know, after she said that, you know, Winnie, she gave Winnie the camera, uh, Winnie actually apologized to the unifier, said, I am so sorry. As you can see me right now, I'm about tearing, tearing up all of that one. I am sorry, guys, forgive me. You know, Winnie was just apologizing to the unifiers. Some of them are like, I'll never forget Winnie on the live video somewhere like, you are forgiven since our faith said we should forgive you. You know, all those kind of talk. At a point, I was just smiling. Do you know why? Yolanda also nominated people. So why are you guys taking it so personal? I do understand for a fact that release O was a back-to-back -back thing, but it was a game. And Yolanda even said it that, yes, he saw me as a threat. He doesn't really like me in the house. He nominated me back-to-back, -back, but the threat refused to leave. You guys made it happen. You know, but now we're outside of the house. Let's just let peace reign. So Yolanda saying that actually won the heart of so many people because, um, you know, they have this thing of, oh, some of those housemates are being controlled by their fans. And they were like, oh, Yolanda, we're so proud of you. We're so happy that the fans do not control you. You know, all those kind of talk. And they know the particular housemate which they have been referring to that a fan, um, that their fans are controlling. It's Z. Z on their mouth every time, all day long, you know. So they were like coming for Z. That's this is a real person. The fans are not controlling her. She has her own word. She say her own thing. She do this. She do that. Yo guys, <laughs> he choke. Housemates that have a mind of their own. Housemates who are controlled like they are a bunch of. Donkeys and no housemates who are controlled like a bunch of donkeys. You know, they were just giving her all of the hype, but there is a this. There is this with that hype. They did not just hype Yolanda all through. And guess what? Those people are not Yolanda fans. <laughs> I am very sure of that one. They are not Yolanda fans. We all know the person they are referring to, and then we know the person they are having this rift with. You know, uh huh. So, yeah, they were just helping Yolanda, like, you know, Yolanda, you have a mind of your own. What Yolanda said about not beefing with anybody from the show said this isn't her fame and that is Big Brothers. And you may be up now, but you may need someone later that you have burned a bridge with in the house. Everyone was playing a game. But truly, what Yolanda said is the truth. If people could remove sentiments, remove their hatred, it is a game, it's been played. And there are some top players on in that game, but yeah, you'll never forget their name, even if you do not like them. I don't know if you guys get me. I'm glad Yolanda knows the views and likes they are getting are borrowed from Big Brother, and the fame is borrowed from Big Brother, unlike some people. You see where this is coming from? Some of this BB, okay, let me start from down. Willie and Yolanda went out together, Abaya, I'm not, I cannot read that, and being controlled. Still talking about being controlled. I wonder if Yoli Fires will understand Yolanda for going out with Willie. Some of these BBN housemates are making me happy, Betuna. They said no to being controlled. Now, people are lamenting on this thing that um Z is scared of actually doing some things because of her. She feels her fans would leave her. Where they got this notion from is something I really do not get. You know, I do not get where they get this notion from. Keep on trying to tell her what to do, you will regret it. Zin to Kai and then a two Estambine. She will posa you Kesana. Don't try it. Wahala. Me, I do not understand this one. It is funny how the thing Z is being controlled. Like how? Because she is not friends with only one person. That is how why me too. I want to know. Why do you why do you guys say Z is being controlled? So are you in charge of Z feelings? You guys know how much Z likes young papi in that house. Are you in charge of her feelings to know if <laughs> Oh, you guys are funny, though. You guys are really funny. Let's be calming down. Oh. Any which ways, um, Makeke and Bravo B has been going around to, to clean their name from dirty slates. You know, they want their name to appear back on a clean slate. Of course, Bravo B have started interview. They did this interview with these two people. What was it called? Mark J something. Yeah, you guys know the podcast. Is it a radio station, a podcast already? I don't even know. But yeah, it's well known in South Africa. You know, and they, these particular people know how to diss people. Like, yo, they even actually mentioned Yolanda. They are like, the way they say, the way they do their own interview is so annoying. They'll be like, they, they, they 
put the comparison in the front of the, the wash it off in front of the housemates as the way they asked Bible B, they said, Yolanda was actually granted interviews left, right and center, but you were not. You know, I'm like, yo, those people do. Any which was Makeke and Bravo B had their interviews talking about, um, what it means to them and how does not really mean whatever they said but i would be even said it would have been if he had used the words in a better way maybe it wouldn't have actually happened the way it did if he had said let's go take their girlfriends tonight you know maybe they would not read meaning to whatever they said that night well the deal has been done and thank god they're outside of the house i hope the bravo b fans show him the love he deserves Cause as for Makeke, hmm, his fans are doing it already. His fans are making him proud. Makeke and Mpo is still on the trend, guys. <laughs> hey, hey. be like, bye, see who. People are still lamenting on this too. They are like, is there something cooking? Work. Or is there another thing cooking? Sheep. Let us know on time. Meanwhile, still on Makeke, someone said, Makeke is living MC Junior's life. Guys, eh, you see on the social space, that's where I know that there are loads of people that do not have sense. Common sense is indeed not common. You know, you're saying Makeke is living MC Junior's life. Is it the life MC Junior want to live? MC Junior is super comfortable with the life he is living because he chose that life for himself. I don't know why it actually has to do with Makeke living his life. Because Makeke is getting the recognition and everything. And he said Makeke is living MC Junior's life. If MC Junior is also a social media person, the Makeke fans will also show him the love they're showing him now. So why does it look like... Why people are making it sound like Makeke took something else from Mark Junior? Omo, when I need to calm down, or you guys need to be coming down on the social streets, I'm not gonna lie. You see somebody who said he doesn't care about social lifestyle and he says somebody is living his life. His real life is behind the scene. That is, he's a loner, you know? He's not a social media person. How did the, how did he back all the disruptors, MC Junior, BBM, and the student race that his game? We have fun while voting too, some memorable moments for him, MC Junior. You know, while people were talking down on him, on MC Junior, the fans are still rejoicing. They said they are proud voting him. That how did he bang himself? He was close to all the disruptors. In fact, his closer people were the disruptors, Taki, Fahima, and Mayor. That how did he even do it? It's to show that he was a gamer because the people he got closer to were the people who were set into the house to play this game and not the people playing their natural games talking about neo guys let's read this girl by hey loves new segment on my youtube channel called new segment sorry on my youtube channel called girl by this is our little corner where we just talk self-care relationships friendship family ship careers finances etc episode one is introduction sending your name age and what you do for a living so guys this is coming from new i'm very sure if you like new you would want to watch this right it's just like discuss having conversations with new on youtube you know and it says the name is girl by and it's gonna start when is the segment starting to work and she said on sunday so stay tuned guys your favor cooking your favor doing things you know to keep you guys up to space and then she also said this just to add something even if you're currently unemployed that doesn't disqualify you from being part of the girl by i brought up occupation just so i know who i am dealing with and the topics we should touch on so don't feel like you don't belong in the group because you have because you are unemployed or just feel like you are not doing as great as others everyone is as important whether you are thriving or sitting home waiting for job opportunities with that being said as he shared with the intros and here is her still begging you guys she said guys i have one request ne can i please get the same amount of views and reposts when i upload brand campaigns com companies like such engage you know so she's pleading with her fans that please guys actually help me view you know react give um the attention if i post on brands and all of that because you know the attention those fans get when they post about brand will make more brands to come for them so guys you new supporter you have to know the right thing to do of your or your new lover just like me i liked new in the house because she was competitive and so smart yeah any which ways guys i'm gonna be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later 
Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.